BDS is working. And it's really worrying Israel because Israel invests so much time, money, and capital in projecting itself as a victim. And BDS is helping to expose it. Israel is not the victim here. It is the aggressor. And it deserves to be the subject of boycott and divestment campaigns and sanctions until which time that it ends its aggression and ends subjugation and oppression of the Palestinian people. It's worrying Israel to the extent that Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu is warning about it. Israeli think tanks are writing and, and warning about its dangers. And wealthy Zionists are coming together to invest millions in trying to fight it. Just recently, it was reported that over $50 million has been raised to be spent over the next two years to fight BDS. And how much does the BDS movement have? Nothing. But we have people power. Ten years ago, Palestinian civil society put out a call to people of conscience around the world to engage in BDS until which time Israel complies with international law and the response has been phenomenal. It took over 30 years for the international community to heed the call from the oppressed people of South Africa for divestment. But in 10 years, in just 10 years, we've seen university students across the United States, in Canada, in the UK, and other places demanding that their schools divest from companies complicit in Israel's occupation. Workers unions, teachers associations declaring their support of BDS churches, the Presbyterian Church, the United Methodist Church, and most recently the United Church of Christ voting to divest from companies profiting from Israel's occupation. Israeli and international companies enabling the occupation, losing big contracts, big international contracts. Dozens of artists have canceled their shows in Israel, and thousands of artists in, from the United States, the UK, Canada, Switzerland, and other places publicly declaring their support, support for boycott, divestment, and sanctions. It's really inspiring that, you know, we have this overwhelming oppressive system that is enabled by the silence and complicity of the international community of states. It is enabled and financed by the world's only superpower. It is carried out by one of the most powerful militaries in the world. And it is going to be brought down by average people around the world like you and me.